All right, <laughs> getting there. Um, so get the voltage reader in here. Nothing fancy. This is what I usually have. I was gonna use that tire. Yeah, it's a mess in here. Like I said, we get better. It makes sense. I was gonna put this entire panel in here. I don't need a switch. Because um, I want to make this simple. So, uh, get the input in there. It's coming from the back. Uh, SAE input. It's supposed to be solar coming in. It's supposed to be, it is going to be the solar coming in. Uh, as you can see, solar in. Um, battery out. Uh, I mean, sorry, battery out. Positive coming in. Um, I wanted to tie in this. Ah, oh, shoot, I knew this breaker sucks. Okay, I gotta replace this. It's a 30 amp breaker switch that I had extra laying around for my camper. I do have a solid panel uh, set up in my camper as well. And I got one of these. This one's faulty or loose or something. It is a 30 amp circuit. Uh, I'm gonna drop it to like 10 amp or 20 amp. Um, I am running 10 gauge wires. Um, it handles about 30 amps max. Um, uh, like I said, I'm just kind of going by. Um, nothing planned out here, no schematics. I'm just going by what I know and with my experience with RVA and setting up my solar panels. Um, I mean, I know a lot of you guys are pros at this, but you know, I'm a simple guy and I think I'm doing this right. Um, I'm gonna fuse a few things in here. I mean, inline fuses as opposed to battery banks or not battery banks, sorry, fuse banks. You know, it, it, is, it is nice to have a fuse bank, but in, in my opinion, I could be wrong um, since there's a lot of pros out there. Uh, inline fusers will work just as well. The same thing. Um, the fuse banks just makes it look nice in a single spot. But um, uh, anyway, enough talk going back to the turn the CV down. <laughs> CNN. And I'm sure it's about COVID stuff again. Uh, like I said earlier, using a Harbor Freight 700, yeah, 750 watt. It's probably. Yeah, 1500 watt peak. That's not bad. And that's a Life PO04 576 watt with Wonder uh, controller. 30 bucks. Nothing fancy. Uh, it does work with lithium, um, lead acid, gel, and a deep cycle. Um, it does that it does not say light like piece or four, but it does I, I did a little bit of research Correct from wrong. This is gonna work out or not, but um Some of the reviews said it does work with light like piece zero four But if it doesn't you know what and set this thing up where I can just easily replace this thing It's one thing the reason why I like the SAE connectors um, But this is a Home Depot Homer box like I mentioned on the Peter's video part one. Drilled a hole in here. So the scenario plan is to plug this in. I think the wire's too long on this thing. You know, this is, you know outlet you typically put it on your desk. Uh, if you want to make it recessed. Um, so I'm going to plug this inside, the in, or on the inverter inside. Um, I wanted a gauge in here, so I'm going back and forth in here. Uh, I want a gauge in here, it tells me how much voltage I have as opposed to a meter or percent type uh, load. It tells me how long I have. 
well, I don't have that, so I don't want to spend any more money than you know than I have already. I mean, I'm uh, I probably spent sixty bucks on this. Um, I already had the battery sitting around in here uh, from a previous previous project. So I think this is about twenty five bucks. Uh, I don't know. This thing here it came with that. Fifteen bucks. That's fifteen dollars. Uh, adding, I'm not trying to add up anything in here right now. I'm just estimating. The Wonder. Yeah, don't get the cheap one. Well, this is kind of cheapish. But don't get the uh, thirteen dollar one. Get a better one, just like this one. Uh, inline breaker. Um, yeah, that's just gonna go like that. All right, I'm gonna try to finish it in here. Um, summarize it. Uh, I tied this voltmeter with the controller so I can switch this off. Oh shit, we're gonna run off. It's loose, like I said. And all right, well, the reason why I got this bug road to so I can replace it. So everything's replaceable, like easily, including battery. Um, what I was trying to say is I want to be able to switch this off just like so. It doesn't have a draw on your battery when it's stored or not plugged into the wall. Uh, I am planning on putting a uh, the adapter 120 to uh, 12 volt, well actually probably 18 volts. Uh, your typical laptop adapters. I'm sure I got one laying around in here. But anyway, that's the plan. Um, simple. 12 volt out, I haven't wired it yet. Again, SAE, SAE connector, just like I have all my connections on my vehicles, trucks, Jeep, RV. Uh, I want it to be standard connection connector across the board. Um, so I'm gonna label this 12 volt out, input in, solar in. Make it a little bit nicer. But you know, the whole point is to cut cost as opposed to buying Goal Zero Power Gen. I, well, I do have this older panel Nomad. That's one thing I kind of spent money on. I got it on sale from Costco last year. That's on my other videos. You'll see it's tied in or set up in my Jeep. But I'm gonna get one of these guys here. Good beer, the trucky. I already. Um, this is a good update. Cool. Thanks. I'll see you guys later when it's done.